So, Blaze and I were gonna make a YouTube video of this really funny thing we found at Goodwill. It was like, uh, it looks like a Nintendo 64 controller, but it's a plug-and-play TV game thing that has 76,000 NES games in it. Or did. Before it blew up. Here's the thing about it. Michael had one just like this, actually, except it was a blue controller and it looked like a 360 controller. And it did not say Super Joystick TV Game Super Joy. It actually didn't have any label on it, but it still said Fun Time 76001 when you turned it on. Um, basically, this one could run off of batteries or a wall power thing. And make sure you insert the battery box in the right place. You have no idea how hard it was to say that with a straight face just now. Um, so anyway, I'll give him some credit. It's not the worst build quality I've ever seen, but it did randomly blow up. Um, I can't remove this circuit board entirely for the, uh, uh, the battery compartment thing, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out that something's very wrong here. What's all the white stuff? What is it? I don't know. And I mean that in a totally not wrong way, but... I mean, it's everywhere. Especially all over this chip. Now, I don't know if, this, if the chip is what combusted, but something went boom. Literally went boom. While the controller was in my hand, and the console went off, and all it did other than that was make the room smell like it had just burst into flames. I really don't know, guys. None of these capacitors look distressed. Except, several of them look scarily unsafe in their design. Like, they're not... The tops are not designed to blow. I don't know if you're noticing that, but... I don't remember what those little things are. I forget. You can also tell this is actually pretty old device design. I think this may be actually the cartridge slot out of the Famicom. Because, look, it's supposed to be able to take cartridges, but I'm not really sure... ...exactly what kind of cartridges. Famicom and Genesis cartridges sort of seem to fit, but I didn't try either one. Um, you also can notice this is, a, this is an old design because it has orange tantalum electrolytic capacitors. Those are the thing of the past because of their tendency to blow up, and none of these have blown up. And when I say blow up, I mean blow up into a million pieces and just scatter orange stuff all over your device. There's also a switch right here, and I have no idea what it's for. That's the power switch, right there. And now a totally useless power switch. Yeah, so it was going to be an interesting... It's going to be an interesting topic. It says 76,000 games, many of which are clones of each other. Like, there's 20 different versions of Mario Bros, and only one of them is the real thing. One of them is called Mr. Mary. What? I don't know. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching.